Hello everyone, it's Mel Pajan. Today I'm going to read S3 3238 Special Effect. Written by Paul Reader. There are a lot of movies that use a special effect. You can see special effect on TV too. And the people work together to make the special effect. It takes a lot of money. The special effects team might have to make fires, floods, accidents, and explosions. All these special effects have to be made very safe, but they still have to look real. These are some of the ways that the special effects team makes special effects. Making floods. Sometimes the special effects team has to make a flood. Special effect has to be set up in a studio. To make a flood, the team needs a big water tank and a set. Uh, the set can be made with models of buildings and trees. Tim builds the set inside the water tank. When the team wants to make the set flood, they slowly lower it into the water tank. Making rain. Sometimes the special effects team has to make rain. The team uses big hoses and sprinklers to make the rain. The team uses a wind machine to blow the rain sideways. Making fire. Sometimes, special effects team has to make a fire. Gas fires are used so that the team can make the flames go higher or lower. The team can make bigger flames by burning a metal frame that is fabric with fuel on it. The team uses a smoke machine to make more smoke. More smoke makes the fire look more dangerous. Making safe fire. All fires on a movie set must be safe. The special effects team has to be very careful. Some people have to be very careful. Everyone needs to know what to do. Everyone needs to know what to do if the fire gets out of hand. Stunts. The special effects team and the stunts team work together to make stunts look real. Some people are people who stand in for actors when a dangerous stunt is needed. A dangerous stunt can be a car blowing up or a car driving into water. All stunts have to be very carefully worked out. The teams make sure that all of the stunts are safe before filming starts. The first thing the stunts team has to do is read about the movie. The team looks at the storyboard of the movie. The storyboard shows pictures of what's going to happen in the movies. Making a car blow up. The special effects team and the stunts team go to the place where they will blow up the car. Tim breaks the car up into pieces and then puts it back together again. This means that it'll be easy for the car to come apart when it blows up. The team then puts explosive into different parts of the car. When the team is ready to blow up the car, they put a dummy in the place of the, of the uh, actor. The team sets the explosive off from far away. Explosives are very dangerous. They have to be used very carefully. And only by people who know how to use them. Fill buns to make a fire. Explosives break the glass. Explosives blow up the front. Breakaway props. Sometimes some people have to break props. If a prop has to be broken, it is made out of a material that's very easy to break. If the stunt people has to fall through a window, the glass in the window is made out of light plastic. Chairs, bottles, and glasses can also be made out of a kind of plastic that breaks very easily. The chair has been broken and then stuck back together. Loosely, the chair is now easy to break. Soft padding is put at the bottom of the window. This is so that the stunt people doesn't get hurt. Making safe stunts. All stunts have to be very safe. If the team makes a car roll over, then it has to have a strong roll cage. If stunt people have to jump away from fire, then they have to wear special suits to keep from getting burned. Stunt people also have to wear special padding to keep from getting hurt in a fall. Hip pads, upper body pads, spine pads, Knee and spine pad, fireproof suit. 
fireproof food, fireproof mask goes over the thing, fireproof food, fireproof globe, talking to a makeup artist. Question, what does a makeup artist do? All actors in makeup. Makeup helps them look like the characters they play. A makeup artist changes the way an actor looks. I can use makeup to make actors look old or young, or like they've been cut or burned. This may mean that I have to use fake hair, fake scar, fake blood. Are the birds made to fit an actor's face or body? I also need special brushes, glues, sponges, and razors. Where do you work? I work in a bus. In my bus are basin, mirrors, and dryers. I have the makeup I, that I need. Sometimes I have to work on a set. And I can take my bus. When this happens, I have to make do with what I can. I have walked out of the back of my car, top of a snowy mountain, even in the water in a wetsuit. Taking long hair and a beard for the actor. The actor, when the wake up artist has finished. How do you know what kind of makeup to use? First, I read the script and think about the character. Then I meet with the actor and director to talk things over. Then I make drawings so I can see what the makeup will look like. <laughs> Next, I work out what makeup I'm going to use and how I'm going to use it. When I have it all figured out, I do makeup test to see what it looks like. When everybody is happy with the way the makeup looks, I go ahead and do it for real. Some of the makeup that I use. An actor ready to be made up. Actor and the dummy, the actor before he has makeup on, the dummy ready to be set on fire. How did you change the way this actor looked? I used makeup to change the actor's skin, put fake tattoos on the actor, I used special glue and fake blood to make the tattoos look sore and crusty. I glued the beard onto the actor, put some dirt and suit on it. I used more makeup to make the actor look burnt. The actor was then filmed with flames in front of him. Next, I made a dummy of the actor. Dummy had to look just like him, especially the him set the dummy on fire. And it was filmed while it was burning. Then the two films were edited and put together, so it looked like the actor was burning. Computers and special effects. Computer special effects. Today, uh, special effects team makes a lot of special effects on a computer. Photo can be scanned into a computer. Computer turns a photo into an image that's made up of lots of dots. Dots can be changed on the computer. Changing the dots changes the photo. Morphing. The image of the actor's face can be scanned into a computer. A grid is drawn over the actor's face. The grid can then be moved to change the actor's face. Blue screen effects sometimes. The special effects. Tim uses a camera to make special effects. Blue screen effect is made by using a camera and a computer. Tim uses the blue screen effect to film an actor doing something that would be very hard to do in real life. This is how blue screen would be used to make it look like an actor is flying. Actor is filmed hanging by wires in front of, in front of blue screen. Background is filmed. Computer is used to put the actor and the background together. Cartoon animation. Movies can be made without people as the actor. The actors can be cartoons or model. To make a cartoon artist draws many drawings of the same character. The character is in a slight different position. Each drawing is photographed and each photo becomes one frame on the film. When the film is played, it's like the character is moving. The artist can use a computer to help make the cartoon. Model animation. To make a model, the model maker needs to think about how the model is going to look. The model maker needs to think about how the model is going to move. Like the cartoon character, the model is moved for each frame of the film. When the film is played, it looks like the model is moving. The model maker can also use a computer to make the model move. The end.